<laughs> All right, let's take a look at our next article from ArsTechnica.com. Chrome OS Flex is an ideal off-ramp for millions of PCs that can't run Windows 11. And I was reading about something this week, actually, that was like, there's a lot more computers than they thought that couldn't run Windows 11, and oh, so yeah. people yeah, are looking for lot. alternatives. Yeah, you know, most consumer laptops don't ship with a TPM. If you just go to Best Buy, half the laptops you see on the shelves don't have a TPM in them, and that's a requirement for Windows yeah. 11. Well... This article is a little bit kind of forgetting one point, which is, all right, maybe you can't run Windows 11. Guess what? You can still run Windows 10, yeah. which is supported through 2025. And so you, you got a little more time before like you go. Three more years. Jump to another operating system. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, uh, Google has had their Chrome OS, which you've been able to buy Chromebooks, these low priced laptops that you can run Chrome OS on. But they had to be official through Google or through Google's partners like uh, uh, Toshiba, Samsung, several of those companies made uh, Chromebooks. Well, I think Asus actually made some. I'm mentioning them because we'll talk about them later. Uh, but there have been unofficial ports of Chrome OS that you could run on any laptop. And, you know, because it's all built on Chromium and, and Linux. And so people would kind of cobble together their own thing, but Google wouldn't support it. Well, one of the biggest projects that did that was a, a, a open source project called Cloud Ready. And Google has basically acquired them and, and given them the official blessing of saying, this isn't just a Chromium variant anymore. This is actual Chrome OS. And so now you can go and get Chrome OS Flex and install it on just about any laptop, old Macs, old Windows machines, and it'll run Chrome OS. Now you get a modern, currently supported operating system, and you can continue to use that device into the future. So Chrome OS Flex, is that the the new name of, of what you were just saying? Right. So you still have Chrome OS, which yeah. is the official, you know, that's what comes on Chromebooks. But then Chrome OS Flex is just software. It's a, a software distribution you can install yourself. I feel like there was like the board members at Google were just sitting around going, "How do we track the cheap bastards that won't buy a Chromebook?" And even though their laptop is this would expired, do it. I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, it's smart. Even though you said down, you know, people can still go to Windows 10. Sure. It's, it's definitely smart for these other companies to go. Hey, Windows 11 won't work for you. And, you know, yeah. you you don't have any option. Come here. So yeah, yeah. yeah. it's good. Marketing. I mean, it, or, it's not like they don't have any option like you said there's windows 10 yeah. and mm -hmm. um i mean i know this would be a linux fanboy saying you know there's linux distributions out there that work pretty well as desktop operating systems i'm thinking like elementary and zorin and sure. other ones that are kind of like geared toward that and they take up very little resources and they're a full-fledged operating system they don't stop you from doing things yeah so. there's a couple like kind of windows clone or is it yeah. mint or no what what Mint's is the one that people windows clone but but it, it kind of looks a, like it. It's a great yeah. You, like, yeah, you could come over version. and yeah. as a Windows user and figure it out. Pretty yeah. quickly, yeah. yeah. And you know, Chrome OS is pretty neat because you can run Android apps on it in addition to you've mm -hmm. got the Chrome browser, That's which true. is what most people need to do their work. Uh, it's not very resource intensive, so you can get it up and going pretty easy. Uh, it's it's kind of a neat way, especially if you've got like there were there's always Black Friday deals yeah. where there's those computers that have Celeron or i3 processors in them or the you know the mobile Celerons yeah. uh, and then they'll have 128 gigs of flash not not SSD like not not, not true NVMe right. or whatever but just flash uh, and four gigs of RAM or three gigs of RAM those those things they can run Windows 10 but not very well. Yeah. But you throw Chrome OS Flex on there, and it runs great. Now it's screaming. Yeah, yeah. No, I do all my gaming on those. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you, I'm not very good. Yeah. You, you joke about it, but uh, you can run the Steam client on there, oh. or the GeForce Now, and you know the, those cloud streaming services. Play like Battle Tanks or whatever the hell is yeah. in the Google Play Store. Worms. <laughs> yeah. Worms. Yeah. I love the Worms games. <laughs> yeah, that's, fine. that's good stuff. I believe it's pronounced Worms. Oh, my bad. Is it German? Is it? No. <laughs> In Germany, maybe. Yeah. yeah. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.